Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Mr. Mlenga. Alright, so I want us to answer the question that came in mathematics paper 1 for 2018 candidates. Okay, this was for external. And this is the question that is coming from bearings. The question reads, in the diagram below, a cyclist starts from town W. You can see town W right there. And cycles on a bearing of 216 degrees to town what? P. Right? So, uh, you can see town P down there. Okay? So, here... She then uh, leaves down P and cycles on a bearing of 216 to Z, okay? So she moves from down P and cycles on a bearing of what? 216 to Z. You can check where we have our Z right here. All right. So Z is west of what? Uh, w. This information right here. Very important to take note. Z is west of W. So if Z is west of W, it means that Z is lying on the west side and w is lying on the east side so it simply means that here where you have a w right here you are going to have an angle which is what a 90 degrees okay because you have the north pole there w so an angle which is 90 degrees will be formed at uh w there all right so let's now uh, look at the questions what do they want us to find so these are the questions they want you to calculate P, W, Z. P, W, Z. So meaning, they want you to find, okay? They want you to find an angle which is going to be at W, okay? They want you to find an angle which is going to be at W, right here, right? That is an angle they want you to find. Now, the second question is saying, calculate WPZ, WPZ. They want you to find the complete angle, okay, at P right here, WPZ. That is, these are the questions. So bearing that in mind, let's now see how we can answer this, how we can find these angles, okay. So what you do, the first thing is, look at what you have. Here, you have 216. Okay, from north touching this line, which is going to be, you have 200 and what? 16, not so. Then here, you have a 90 degrees. So to find the angle which will be at W right here, you are co going to consider the complete co uh, revolution, okay? The complete angle, the complete 10 there, which is 360. So what you do, you are going to say uh, 360 minus... So, you add this 216 plus 90. So, you say 216 plus a 90 there. Okay? So, what you do is 360 minus, when you add these two angles, you are going to get 306. So, here, what's our answer? 360 minus 306, you are going to get a 54. Alright? So, we have gotten our 54 degrees there. So, that will entail... The angle at W is going to be what? A 54. And angle which will be here is going to be a 54 degrees. Not so. Okay? We now come back down here. Here. Alright. So, even here, let's apply the same method. Why? Because you have an angle starting from here up to here, which is 296. Okay? Now, we want to find the complete angle which will be for P here, WPZ. So, what you do, let's just say, um, you are going to have an angle here. You are going to have an angle again here. You are going to have an angle. That's what it means. That will be the complete angle. But for this other theta I've written here, we don't have a value. So, what you do is find the angle which will be right here. So, you say... Um, 360 degrees minus 296 because there I have said you are having a 296. So when you do that, 360 minus 296, you are going to get what? You are going to get a 64 degrees. So this will give you an idea that, oh, here we have a, for what? 
decrease. Now, we don't know the arm which will be right here. Okay? So, how do you find the theta which is inside here? Because we want to find WPZ, the complete angle. Now we have four. So, this is what you do. Right? This is what you do. You are going to make, you can see this north which is on top. You are going to do this. Extend it a little bit. Okay? You extend it like this. So, when you are done with your extension, it means you are going to find an angle which will be right here. Okay? So, to find an angle which will be right here, you consider this as a straight line. Okay? Which is a straight angle. And a straight angle is up to what? 180 degrees. Not so. A straight angle is up to 180 degrees. So, if you have a 216 there, you just say 216. Alright? So, you just say 216 minus 180. So, 216 minus 180, you are going to get 36 degrees. So, it simply means that here, you add 36 degrees. So, if you have 36 degrees here, and here we have a theta, these are alternate angles. So, even here, you are going to have 36 degrees. Okay? Now, let's get back to the questions. PWZ, the angle W, we have found that is what? A 54. So, here, uh, we have found that the angle is a 54 degrees. Then WPZ, you can see the angle, the complete angle WPZ at P there. You have S4. So, just add where we say 64 degrees plus 36 degrees. And this will give you what? 100 degrees. So, these are our answers. So, now what you do is, just come back on the part here. Remember, you're supposed to write your answers here. So, the first one, you have found that the angle is 54 degrees. Then the second one, you have found that the angle is 100 degrees. Okay? So, thank you so much everyone for having time to do this content. Please, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you have more of this content. Bye-bye.